In this video, I will show you how you can clear up your iPad if you're using DaVinci Resolve on the iPad so that you get more space back. And there's actually a very cool feature that they introduced now with 18.5. So first of all, I already made a video where I go through all of the different folders if you manually want to go through your cache files. And in this video, I explain everything, even from, for example, how you can put all your cache files on an SSD drive, if you work with an SSD drive. And so in this video today, I show you this new feature that they introduced, which is called a cache manager. So now you have an option inside of DaVinci Resolve, not just for the desktop, also for the iPad, how you can manage everything in this one window. And I show you how this, how this works. To get this on the iPad, I looked into this already. The only way how you can get this at the moment is via short codes. If you know how to open this differently, please let me know in the comments. But I think what the best way would be actually, if Blackmagic is watching, is here on our home screen. Maybe because we are working with all the different files and projects, maybe here a button would be the best to open the manager so we don't, don't have to put this somewhere in here, I think, personally. But if we go to the shortcuts menu and we look now here for cache, so then we find here under playback, delete render cache files or render cache, you see this new uh, pop-up is called manage cache data. I gave this a shortcut, um, command and uh, zero, so you have to give it a shortcut as well. And then if I type this one, command and zero, uh, option zero, I gave it option zero, sorry, not command zero, option zero, then you will see this window come up. And how it works now is you can change this. The first time it will show you local. You can also say it to all. And then you see all the different project files with the cache files. And you can even like um, sort everything here by a file size. And then you see your render cache size. And then you can select those that you want to delete. And then you say clear cache. Boom, it's that simple, it's that easy. So what is the cache file? It's not the original file that you're deleting. It's more a cache file is used in the system like a pre-rendered version of some files that DaVinci has it easier if you and to run smoother. So, but if you finish with a project, you don't need those cache files anymore. This is why some over time, your storage will become fuller and fuller, especially if you have an iPad with limited capa um, capa capacity. Yeah, especially if you have an iPad with limited capacity, then it will just run out of space faster. And this is one way how you can do this. If you combine that with the technique that I showed you in my first video, so definitely watch that one too, then this is the way how you can always clean out a lot of space on your iPad. So I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding-a-bang-bang-gong, we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.